Morning Salutations in her room. My name is Larry, and this is The Ethical Atheist, and look at us, we're outside! We're outside because I finally got a tripod, or, well, you know, my auntie bought one for me. Because I'm 22, and that's what I call my mother's sister. Hi, guys! Hi guys, I'm Larry, and I'm once more walking among the living. I know that I've been absent from my channel for a long time, and I'd like to say that I have a good reason for that, but I don't really. Um, I really don't. I've been tired, I've been really just not in the mood to make videos. I feel like I, I don't really make videos to be on a schedule. I feel like when I make videos because I have something to say, they come out a lot better than me just trying to make a video because, oh my god, it's Tuesday, I have to have a video, you know, and, um, that's why, that's the main reason I've been gone so long is I just haven't really had anything to say. So, anyway, recently... There have been some things occurring in my life that made me think of an actual topic that I might want to talk about, which is well-meaning religious family members, friends, you know, people in your local circle. So there's a lot of different kinds of this phenomenon, and since I luckily have a diverse experience in this area, I thought I'd share a little bit about my experience and ask you guys what your experience is. And so... Those of you who are out in your community, meaning the people around you know that you're an atheist, have more than likely at least once had a well-meaning friend or family member, sometimes, you know, your mom or dad, if they're religious, come to you and talk to you about reconverting to a religion or, you know, converting to their religion in general because they genuinely fear for your immortal soul, typically. You know, most religions that have investment in conversion have some sort of afterlife myth where you cannot have access to that afterlife unless you are their religion or as it's prescribed in their specific sect. A lot of people out early in the morning. It's only about half past eight. Well, I guess people that have jobs have places to be. Well, so, in my life, personally, my mother-in-law, not a whole bunch, but on occasion, has talked to me about, you know, my lack of religion. And my aunt, who I love very much, it was probably very disappointed that I'm using my birthday gift to make videos about not being religious, have talked to me about, you know, how much better my life could be if I were religious, or, you know, my aunt has said in so many words that she's worried about my soul and things like that, and I, I have no problem with that. When people approach me in that manner, which is, you know, with my mom and mom-in-law and my aunt, very respectfully, very laid back. It's not, you know, nobody's coming and hitting me upside the head with the Bible. That I can deal with. That I can tolerate. That, you know, I can have productive discussions with people in that area. Because they're not coming at you in an aggressive way. And that's, uh, that's kind of just the place that I grew up in. It's a very religious place, but it's not ag aggressive in the way that evangelical Christians are sometimes aggressive. It's very, very laid back. But, and then you have well-meaning family members that are more aggressive. There are people in my life, and I'm not going to name names here because I don't want to embarrass anybody, but there are people in my life who are like, you know you're going to hell, right? You know that if you don't accept Jesus into your heart, you're going to hell. You're going to burn in a lake of fire for all eternity. When you come at me like that, it does not endear me to want to listen to you. And I doubt that that works for hardly anybody else. Because if you're coming from a position like I have, where I'm not religious, 
I don't believe that there is a god or an afterlife or anything supernatural. I believe that when you die, you're just dead. If you come at me and say, if you don't believe what I believe, you're going to hell, that has no effect on me because I don't think hell exists. So one, you're being rude. And I'm very, very not likely to give you the time of day if you come at me, you know, aggressively and with no manners. And two, I don't believe in the thing that you're threatening me with, so I really have no reason to change my mind on that basis alone. And I think personally that I am very fortunate in that I haven't had this happen to me a lot. I mean, I think all of my friends know that I'm a non-believer. I think, you know, people I work with largely don't know just because it doesn't come up in typical conversation and like I the thing I was most worried about was uh, when I told my mom that I didn't believe in God and that I didn't want to be a part of religion anymore she didn't react at all in the way that I imagined she would I was certain that I was gonna get an ass kicking that day but she it turned out you know she was you know I don't want to say chill, because that it, that gives the wrong impression, but she was very understanding. And on one occasion, and this nearly brought me to tears, you know, machismo person that I am, but she said that, you know, look, I know, I know you, you're a very smart person, and I think that you came to this decision, you know, from an educated standpoint, and that there are reasons you decided to do this, and I respect that. I don't agree with it, but I respect it. And that is, you know, the kind of response that, it blew me away at the time, and it was my motivation for approaching this the way that I have in my videos, to return that kind of respect to people who do have faith and who do have religion. That, you know, I don't agree with your religion, I don't necessarily think it's the truth of the world, but you have my respect as long as you're not hurting anybody else. And so that's, that's really where I'm coming from in all of my videos is that I am lucky enough that I have been shown a tremendous amount of respect for my beliefs and I want to extend that same respect to other people. That's why I'm not going to go on an anti-theist rant about how we need to eliminate all religion and the world would be so much better without religion in it. Because I genuinely don't feel that way. I think that for some people it certainly does help them to live better lives to be religious. It's just not the case for me. I think that I'm going to get along perfectly fine not having any religious beliefs. But there are people that don't share that experience. There are people who find religion enriching to their lives. And that's fine. As long as nobody is infringing on anybody else's rights, I don't care what you do with your personal time. And so I guess that's that's my bit about my experience, but I do genuinely want to know in, in the comments section here, or if you want to get on my Twitter at bubble there, uh, and let me know what your experiences have been. Have you had any people approach you about your lack of belief? Have you had anybody try to reconvert you? And what was your response to that situation? Well, that's my bit for today. That's my video. I don't know if I'll get back into making them on the regular again, or if I'll just, again, start making them when I feel like I have something to talk about. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys. Cars. Why does anybody record outside?